Hey guys, it's Honey here, and I am pretty late to the train when, oh wow, my voice just went stranger. I'm pretty late to the train in filming my intro video to the hashtag Team Project Pan project. Um, I did actually film this about three weeks ago, about the middle of January, and basically the whole footage was blurry. So the progress when I update this at the end of Feb, start of March, will be from that mid-January point. So it will be about six weeks worth of progress on most of these items. But I basically haven't had a chance to sit down and film since then. This is the first time I've actually sat down and had a chance to do my makeup in yonks. So I'm taking advantage. I'm going to film this video for you guys. I know it's late. My first update will still be, will not be until February. Hope you guys still want to see this. So this is a full face rolling project pan started by Kat and Haley from Beauty News or Kitch Snitch and Just Blunt Makeup. They're using the hashtag Team Project Pan to get heaps of people involved. So just click on the hashtag and you can see others' videos. Um, but let's just get into the products I'm using up in this project. So the first product is obviously primer. And the primer I'm using is the Too Faced Primed and Peachy Cooling Matte Skin Perfecting Primer with infused with peach and sweet fig cream. Um, you guys know I basically love the whole range of this two, this whole Too Faced range. I think it's beautiful. I love it so much. Um, spoiler alert for my January February empties. I finally finished that foundation up. But these products have more than a standard foiled ounce. They have 40 mils in them, so they take up longer than ex take longer than expected. I was trying to pan the foundation in my finished 10 by New Year's, and I basically only finished it up midway through January. But I have marked this, and I will let you know at the end. Of All right. So moving on to the next product, which is foundation. I'm going to be working on my. Long Contant Adol Stick Foundation in the shade 005 Beige Ivory. This is a lighter shade they have and it's still too dark on me. So I do have to use this when I map my darkest, which is at the moment, which is still quite fair. Um, and I still have to mix in, mix it with a lighter, put this on and then I go over with a lighter liquid foundation to kind of blend it in. Been really liking the look of it. So that is the next product I'm working on. Then we have concealer, and this is a joint product because I use these two together. These are my Tarte Shape Tape Concealers. So these are not the original concealer I had in this project. I used that up. And then I rolled these in. Uh, I have the shades Light Sand and Fair Neutral, and basically I mix them together and use them under my eyes. So those are the concealers I'm working on at the moment. For powder, I'm working on the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder in 05 Fair Claire. This is stunning. I love this powder so much. I will definitely repurchase it when Priceline has their 40% off cosmetics or 50% off Maybelline sale. Because you can get this super cheap and it's gorgeous. It definitely has a colour to it though. Which I quite enjoy when I'm using something like this that's too dark. This is quite brightening. The next category, sorry, I'm going down my spreadsheet that I have here, is setting spray. And this one is almost finished. This is the Cover Effects Mattifying Setting Spray. This should be done by the end of the month, hopefully. But again, works really well with the foundation combination I'm trying to pan. Bronzer. Again, these progress photos that I'll be showing in the updates are from a little while ago, so I'm not going to show you what they are, but this is the... Tarte Park Avenue Princess Bronzer. This is just a mini size. This has three grams of product in it. So I've been working on this. And then the blush I am working on is the MAC Mineral Extra Dimension Blush in See Me Hear Me. This is from the Allure Aquatics collection. I love this packaging so much. I loved this collection so much, but this is the only thing I still have from it. And I love it so much, I just want to get some use out of it because it's a really old blush. And really, at the end of the year, I need to declutter it because it's old. So I want to get some use out of it. I'm nowhere near expecting to finish this blush up. If I hit pan on this blush in the whole year, I'll be surprised. But it's such a perfect colour. I apply it with my very dirty Wayne Goss number 11 brush and it buffs into the skin so beautifully. 
don't have it on today because I still want to rotate through my blushes. I'm not going to only use this blush, which is why I'm not expecting to finish it up. I want to get some good progress on it this year. For highlight, we're working on what I'm pretty sure is the last liquid highlight I have in my collection, which is nice. This is the Max Strobe Cream in Pink Light. This is brand new. It is one floor down, so we'll see how long this takes. You guys know I'm not into panning powder highlights. I enjoy changing my highlight up way too much for that, so moving on to this one. Next, we have an eye primer, and I am continuing to work on my matte paint pot. This better be done. This, this will be done by the end of the year, but this is old. I'm ready to move this out of my collection, but I love it, and it's probably something I would repurchase at one stage. Next, we have eyeshadow slash palette. Now, I panned so many, hit pan on so many eyeshadows last year, and moved a lot of palettes out of my collection once I did hit pan on them. So this year, I really just want to focus on using and enjoying my collection. I'm actually going through and put little stickers on all of my powder products, blushes, bronzers, highlighters, single eyeshadows. Um, I'll show you because I have to take this one off. Uh, just little star stickers off. And then every time I use it, because I use this eyeshadow today, this is Major Win by MAC, um, just take the sticker off. And then every th quarter, I want to go through and see what products I haven't used and um, kind of reassess, assess, not reassess, assess why I haven't used them, it, was it not the right season, am I just not reaching for these anymore and then kind of declutter that way, that's kind of what my goal is through that. So I'm not planning on painting any shadows specifically, so I'm going to work through my cream and liquid glittery shadows. So the next one in rotation is the Stila Shadow in Liquid Shadow in Kitten. This is the Shimmering Glow. Liquid Gel Eyeliner, um, Fenty Beauty Full Eyeliner. I'm pretty sure this is the second time I've used this since I've been painting it because I just haven't been wearing eyeliner at all. At all. But, yeah, this is the eyeliner I'm currently working through. And then for pencil eyeliner, we're going to keep going with Marc Jacobs Earthquake again. I've marked this, the progress is from a couple of weeks ago, but it's still not something I've used. This should be easier for me to use than the Fenty because pencil liner I can get away with at work a lot easier than liquid liner, but what can you say? Next is mascara. I am working through the L'Oreal Voluminous Original in Burgundy. I love this on my lower lashes, so I just want to get as much use out of it as I can because I'm not using it all over. I probably am just going to keep it until it dries out rather than my very strict three month rule. So we'll see how we go with that. For brow colour, we are working on the Maybelline Total Temptation Brow Definer in Taupe. I actually really enjoy this brow product. Um, it's one of the diamondy, I don't know what I was doing with my hand, then. the kind of diamond, I don't think you can even see, no matter what I do shaped products. This is probably the best taupe colour I've found at the drugstore, which is my struggle with most drugstore eyebrow products is they are very red. This, as you can see, matches really well. I do still go in with my Anastasia Brow Wiz to just shape and define, but I love filling my brows in with a thicker pencil. And then for brow setting, we're going to be going in with the Benefit Gimme Brow. This, again, is probably one of those products that's just going to go till it's dry. Let's know this is one of my all-time favourites, so I kind of just want to track and see how long it takes me to use one up. For lip liner, we are using... Uh, we are using... I am going to be working on Max Dervish Lip Pencil. This lip pencil goes with basically every neutral lip colour ever. I love it. It is the perfect lip liner. I'm wearing it today under like four other lip products. <laughs> but, um... Yeah, it's a really good one. MAC pencils do... You do only need a small amount, so they do take a little while, but... Slowly working through this. For lipstick, I have two minis that I'm working on that I expect will take me pretty much the whole year to work on. Because, again, with my lip products, I'm doing the same thing I'm doing with my powder products. I've marked them with little stickers, and then as I use them, taking the stickers off and then reassessing every couple of months what I feel about them. Hold on there. And then these two lip products are living in my purse, basically for touch-ups. Um, 
These are two nudes. This is Charlotte Tilbury's Pillow Talk and Mark Jacobs' Slow Burn. So this is a more, show you, a cool toned pinky nude. And then this is a more warm tone brownie pinky nude. I don't know. They're both really beautiful. And basically, depending on whatever neutral lip color I'm wearing, these are really good touch up products. So they're just going to live in my purse for touch ups. And as I said, they have been marked. Then we have liquid lipstick. This is a little baby. This is the Sephora Cream Lip Stain in Milk Tea. This is a really grayish lipstick, but it actually looks really good on top of Max Dervish, which gives it a bit more of a pink tone. This is the lip color I'm going to put on if I am not bothered looking for a lip product in the morning. So it is going to live in my everyday makeup drawer. Lip gloss, we are working on Marc Jacobs Sugar Sugar, it's what I have on at the moment. It's a gorgeous creamy nude colour that goes with just about anything, so if I want a little bit of gloss in my life, I've got this one. And then Lip Balm, we are working on the Fresh Sugar Lip Balm in Petal, which is the one that currently lives in my makeup drawer. So that is all the makeup products. I am working on a fragrance. This is the Victor and Rolf Flower Bomb fragrance. This is the... Christmas edition from 2017, 2016. So I want to get through this. I love this fragrance so much, but most of my fragrances are about the two and a half year old mark. So I just want to kind of, I like keeping my fragrance collection quite fresh. Even when I love products, I do just want to use them before they go bad. And for some reason, this color is the most changed out of all of the fragrances I own. So Feel like I need to use it up and it's something I can wear year round and I love it. So that is it for my hashtag team project pan introduction video. Sorry it's late, I hope you guys do still enjoy it. Please give it a thumbs up if you do. Comment down below if you guys are doing this project or any other projects, I'd love to know. Click subscribe to stay tuned for more videos and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye guys.